Hello trainers, Kaneto here and today we are having a Charizard team to start off the Ultra Primer officially. We are having this Cavalier up in front, at the back the Kingdra as our safe switch and of course the Charizard that we have already said uh, which is gonna be the star of this line as the closing part. We are gonna be able to go pretty tough against even our worst counters with this Cavalier so this is why I am enjoying uh, using it and then despite the fact that I just got destroyed down by that Brave Bird well, we still took a shield out of them, while now we can have the shield advantage on that Pidgeot. Because I have the debuff here, I'm just gonna switch out immediately to whatever comes into my Charizard, because even if they bring something that uh, my Kingdra can get the upper hand on type-wise, well, with that uh, debuff, perhaps that matchup can still struggle my Pokemon. So Charizard here comes in, and with that shield advantage, we will try to pressure a lot that Snorlax. Able to get there now to the Dragon Claw, down they go, and at the back there is gonna be the mag at the back the mag this is a fun one and now we're gonna get to the blast burn to obliterate them but they end up shielding but guess what we still got a whole nuke coming up with our outrage connecting to the mag big damage on that pokemon and now with the shield up i'm pretty sure we can farm down right after and despite the fact that we had a very bad lead against that horrible horrible scenario against that Pidgeot, well, we absolutely managed to win that battle. We're having now the Mac in the next one up on the lead this time, which is a pretty cool lead, and they managed to get their hands on their surface. Uh, so you're, you're gonna see that a lot of times I'm gonna use my uh, Charizard as a switching, and despite the fact that it's gonna work as a closer for this line, well, most of the times you're gonna use it as a, a switch in matchup uh, Pokemon because it has just a lot of coverage for the meta, so it ends up being one of the best Pokemon. Pokemon currently for the Ultra Premier. Able to get there now to the Dragon Claw, almost finishing off the mag. I was not expecting that. Actually, I was hoping that could have been enough. But anyways, down goes now my Pokemon, and they are having the mag with a double fighting at the back. Here comes now the matchup. I'm just gonna keep pressuring here with my Scavalier till they throw. And even if they don't, well, I'm just gonna take both of them shields down. Down goes now my ex Cavalier. They are down on that uh, energy, and now they're charging up. So I'm expecting the cross of gonna take the first one while I will try to block the second and at this point yeah we still got the shield and we're gonna get to the victory town uh, into the next one now and we're having the uh, weird Pokemon with a meter beam that Aurorus so this is gonna be obviously a very good one and gonna get straight to the big move because that Chestnut can still be kind of a problematic Pokemon for our Charizard and I do not want to spend the shield at all uh, risking that Dragon Claw so going for the Blast Burn was the correct play and now they return to the battle with the Aurorus gonna get now to the Blast Burn of my own and look at that they managed to reach to the ancient power which ends up being the best move uh, here for this matchup because they charge up a little bit earlier than the meter beam and I was not expecting that but still uh, they did an amount of work that I did not expect at all with that ancient power anyways at the back they're gonna have that trevenant and of course we got two shields and the kingdra and with the shield advantage I think that kingdra is only afraid of those charmers and other than that yeah you're gonna be just fine so octazuka here just for the chip damage gonna put an end to that Trevenant and of course I'm gonna predict here the move because I still have some uh, HP on my Scavalier and yeah that could have been a very easy game for us into the next one now with the Scavalier facing the matchup up on the lead oh that's pretty crucial so we're gonna keep uh, staying in here while I want to block and I want to catch the second cross up I'm staying in I want to see how they manage to throw the energy so if they throw immediately on their fifth counter I will try to catch on the second but this trainer decided to go for that extra mile and now they're gonna finish me off doesn't matter still gonna go in with my Charizard and I know they cannot outspeed me here to that rock slide so I'm just gonna farm down completely gonna get now to the blast burn for big damage on the mag and even if they block i have one more coming up look at that pretty solid but are they gonna expect it and boom trainers down goes the mag this time the cantonian form at the back lies the swamber and this is looking a very wonderful battle for my team because we're gonna block as well the earthquake which is big news and now even with that sealed up with a stand no chance at all we're having now the lapras in the next one and obviously that's a very good lead gonna see the switch out to the charizard and i got the kingdra coming in pretty clutch here 
Charizard is a problematic lead for my team because I do not have a clear answer to that Pokemon. Those Dragon Claws can still hurt my Kingdra while I still got the mirror at the back. So we're gonna be able to finish it off right on time, but still they did a lot of work against my Kingdra. And now that goes a little bit too early to be a Skull Bass. I'm just gonna take it. It ends up being a Surf and now I can still read to the Outrage. Not gonna throw right on the time I read the Outrage just because I want to see if they want to go for that CMP and obviously we're gonna win this. Uh, so that's why I stalled a little bit more than usual. Down goes the Lapras at the back. They have the Obstagoon and guess what trainers? The battle is already over. We still got a very high rank uh, uh, Charizard at the back. I think that's a rank 1 for the Ultra League. I think I'm not sure yet and I'm gonna just take both of them shields out of the way and at this point yeah we just need to reach to a move and that uh, Obstagoon will get out of here because we still got the shield. We still got a lot of effort on our Charizard. That's gonna block because this can always be uh, something like a gank shot or a hyper beam we do not like that and down they go so that's gonna be a very nice game for us Scavalier into Obstagoon and I know what you're thinking Ganeto you had the Pidgeot up in front where are the other bad leads well it happened that my bad leads were towards the end of that video and you're gonna see that we're having one of or not one, but two, perhaps three of the most horrible lead scenarios ever against Arus Cavalier, but soon uh, enough after this battle. Uh, let's get now to those Dragon Claws, able to charge up two more here against that Gengar. Uh, we basically reach to the charge attack uh, at the same time, but they get a little bit too greedy here. Down they go and my charge up will end up victorious against that Gengar. They come in with the Obstagoon, gonna charge up to energy, but to be honest, we still got the upper hand here because of that shield advantage. And and we have kept the alignment correctly and alive for our Pokemon. So Brave Bird coming in, gonna block it just to be sure. And at this point, I will try to farm down, but I am seeing I cannot do that. So just gonna reach now to the Octazuka, finish of this Pokemon. And of course, we got uh, a lot of options here. So they top left the battle. Charizard on its out of form. What did I tell you before? We're gonna have some of the worst possible leads, some of the worst possible sweet teams as well, like this Swambert. So we have to take note of that they're gonna take the first blast burn which is always a blessing because now we might be able to do some solid work against them able to reach now to the dragon claw are they gonna take it as well yes they are so this gives me a little bit of courage that if i can block here perhaps i can farm down right on time but we end up uh, fainting at the same time so against Shadow charizard you have to bring your own charizard since you want to keep your uh, king draft for the end game we play the uh, minding game here very nice so we're just gonna go ahead and do a lot of work with our counters and the drill runs against that wall rain while we're gonna block almost nothing so now now they go in with that Charizard and all we have to do is to pressure a lot this Pokemon. We can also take a shield out of play. Uh, of course they can outspeed here to the next one but still we can survive even when it comes out of uh, Shadow Charizard because this is Ultra League after all. Even classier mons like Kindra can survive some hits. They get the attack debuff on the Charizard. Kingdra with the clutch debuff here and we're gonna be able to farm down but can we outspeed here to the Earthquake? Of course we can. They need a lot of energy and of course now this Megahorn is gonna connect for lethal damage and gonna grab for us a very nice win into the next one now with the wall run up on the lead and oh boy I remember this one so they're having now another water type at the back the, the Swambert and I'm just gonna go in with my Kingdra because obviously this is gonna be a very good option for me uh, they got the earthquake on my Kingdra and I was like you know what I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and throw my energy let's see now what will happen they get the debuff on their attack stat which means now that we can definitely survive the next move the next earthquake i'm expecting what the wall rain to return especially with all those uh powder snows able to farm it down and they managed to block the correct move so that was a big block for that wall rain relying a lot on that pokemon to finish me off so here comes now the earthquake we can survive can we outspeed it is gonna be the charizard at the back and trainers we almost stand on the higher ground but still the match is not over yet. 
Uh, so Dragon Claw here. I'm gonna put us at the point that we might be on the blaster range after those wing attacks. Not sure yet. So I'm just gonna block here. Not gonna risk it at all. I want to keep my Charizard alive for the end game and definitely have. Uh, they definitely have a lot of energy more than uh, the final move than uh, that uh, Dragon Claw. So I'm just gonna throw the move down. Goes that uh, uh, Charizard. We're gonna keep pressuring and of course after that Dragon Claw connecting, we're gonna put this Pokemon to a point that one charge attack will do the work and the trick against that wall rain pretty close battle but hopefully we can win those cmps another bad lead this time against that dragonite we're just gonna get now to the megahorn for, for big damage against the dragon type pokemon so they end up shielding and that's a pretty cool block i can say uh, but if they do not go for the superpower perhaps we can have a chance here however they get to that move now they're debuffed gonna throw in my kingdra and they have the matcham coming in pretty clutch gonna block the first one because this can always be something like a rock slide we hate this move and now we're gonna get to the black Last burn, counting correctly here, they're gonna take it, big news for my Pokemon, and now even if Dragonite returns, we can still pressure with that Dragon Claw, they managed to win that CMP, and I'm not gonna block at all, because even if they have something like, I don't know, a Swamber at the back, they're gonna be on a very good spot here, so we're gonna take their shield out of play, and at this point I'm gonna block the next move on my Kingdra, I was surprised to see another Dragon Claw from that Pokemon, but anyways, they got the obstacle at the back, so all we have to do is to reach to the outrage for the big damaging move and they're gonna reach now to their own charge attack here comes now the knight's last they're gonna get the boost no so we might have actually a chance here with our dragon close knight's last here is gonna connect charge are coming in pretty clutch we will try to farm down and now dragon knight will return to the battle to face the wrath of our dragon claw and that's gonna be a fantastic game into the final one trainers and if you have waited till this time well props to you because now you're gonna see the best battle ever they got this cavalier we got the charizard on the switch with the bad lead and boom obliterating with the blast burn the whole uh, head out of that uh, uh, cavalier so that's gonna be a fantastic game for us so we're just gonna keep pressure here with our charizard we got the blast burn this time we're gonna take the shield and we can still pressure for for one more because they're getting greedy and they want to farm down look at that both of them seals go down they also had that cavalier getting obliterated so now my kingdra can go in pretty clutch against that uh, charizard we're just gonna take the first one it's gonna be just a dragon claw but the second needs to be blocked and now all of our faith can be put on our pokemon here because octazuka is coming up able to finish off the charizard and that's gonna be a great game for our team so that's all training thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end i hope you liked the finale here that was pretty fun uh, even though i think they made a mistake with the switch but it doesn't matter a win is still a win and ultra premier seems pretty fun so how do you find that ultra premier format because i like it a lot and i want to see your reactions and thoughts on the comments uh down in the comments so be sure to leave a like as well if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and i hope to see you all into the next one take care trainers